In this two park update video, I have two ride closing warnings and a tip I've never given before. Stay tuned. Hey, what's going on everybody? Rick and Nikki here. Hello. And I think because I don't have a lot of updates for Islands of Adventure, we'll start here and knock this park out fairly quickly. Something I'm just realizing about this gate, it has little like logos for each island. There's Seuss Landing right there. And right up here is the Lost Continent. When they transition the Lost Continent to the land of Zelda, I hope they remember to change that. Well, that was a different experience checking through the uh, photo validation. Yeah. <laughs> I wear the same stuff all the time. So right. I always look the same, but they paused with you because why? They asked me if I was wearing a yellow hat the other day I was here. <laughs> Inter and they made you take off your sunglasses? Yeah, they made me take off my sunglasses. Well. That was different. <laughs> I find that interesting. I guess one thing I can mention here is that Universal has decided on Grad Bash and Grad Venture Nights. Grad Bash is for high school seniors and will take place on Friday, April 12th, Saturday, April 13th, then Friday, April 19th, and then Saturday, April 20th, and lastly, Friday, April 26th. Grad Venture is for middle school grads. That will take place Friday, May 3rd, Friday, May 10th, Saturday, May 11th, and Friday, May 17th. Please note on these days, the park closes at 6 p.m. for regular guests. Question for you, Nikki. Yes. How much is the two park unlimited express passes today? $2.49. It's an invasion. How's Buttercup today? <laughs> Popeyes. As the Mounties were walking by, they said Popeyes is open. Yes. So I think that means Ripsaw Falls is closed. Well, let's go check it out. Yeah. These walls here at one of the side entrance exits to the Spider-Man gift shop might be the only construction walls left at Superhero Island. I missed Captain America's pep talk today. I'm sure it was good though. Baby shark do 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 do, baby shark do 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 do. Just thought I would put that in your head for today. Question, will these Five Nights at Freddy's plushes be the only thing regarding Five Nights at Freddy's this year? I'm asking you, Halloween Horror Nights. Into Toon Lagoon for our weekly check on Betty Boop. Well, she's got legs. But does she know how to use them? How'd you like that comment? Uh, swinging a bit. I guess she said that because the leg's not swinging. And just like the Mounties said, Popeyes and Ludo's Barges is open. And look at the bridge. They've painted it. Kind of like a, a rainbow bridge now. But wait a second, it's not open. They lie to me? Says delayed. Uh, the steps got the same paint job as the bridge Not just the steps, but the whole building there got a paint job and this seating area for wimpies Well, they just made this area quite colorful didn't they? Can you guess what I think of when I see that bridge? Oh uh, Yes, Mario Mario Kart. Mario Kart with Rainbow Road. Yes, that's it. <laughs> And here's a look at Ripsaw Falls. All of the water is drained out. Now I was here on I think Tuesday and this was not operating then as well. I wonder if it's been down this whole time. And it looks like the Mounties have conquered every island. Popeyes is closed too, by the way. Popeyes is closed? Yeah, yeah, they're de well, delayed. They're delayed, yeah. No How are we going to get wet today? Yeah. Can't trust Popeyes for anything. Go to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> so it is on my to-do list to try Kong with it just being 2D now, but I'm anxious to get over to studios to give you those ride closing warnings. So perhaps next time we'll try this 2D style. Are you interested to see how it is? Oh, for sure, absolutely. Like some of the angles. With the, uh, you know, how the screen is, if it's going to be like immersive or not. Holy smokes. The Jurassic Park River Adventure is closed too. That means all of the water rides not operating at this moment. It's been closed for days. 
but they have told me they hope they hope to be open tomorrow the issue with all the water rides being down is it elevates the wait times for everything else sure does a 65 minute wait for the Velocicoaster though we're making good time to get to those ride closure warnings and more updates than I expected <laughs> FYI regarding Butterbeer Days, the Butterbeer Caramels are back and there are Honeydukes and Sugar Plums. We're in the Lost Continent now, so <laughs> won't have too many updates for this area. Except for these masks Nikki wanted to show you. How much are these? 30, but they're super squishy. Squishy, squishy masks. Yeah, squishy, squishy. Pretty cool. I wonder if you bought these, if you're allowed to wear them in the park. I know, I would have loved to have walked through like Fire and Ice, the HHN house, with yeah. one of these on. You know? How fun! And with the Mythos Waterfall still not working, I guess Universal just having some, some water intake issues. During the last live stream I did at Islands of Adventure, my viewers have determined that this area needs a kitty coaster. What do you viewers think about that? Leave me a message in the comment box. One fish, two fish, a 20 minute wait. So there is one water ride working. There is new merchandise I need to show you in City Walk. Nikki's getting hungry, so we're ready to eat. But we're gonna forgo those two things because I know you guys are anxious to see about the ride closure warnings. So we'll get to those first and then we'll, we'll feed Nikki. But I am going to make you wait for that never before given tip. I'm kind of speed walking through the park now to get to that very, very important ride closure information. There it is. E.T. Adventure. Can you believe Universal is closing it? But only for like a week. May 6th through May 15th, E.T. will be closed temporarily. Hopefully that does not coincide with your vacation or the time you have set aside to visit Universal. Inside of DreamWorks land, Universal has been testing the troller coaster. Could we be so lucky as to see it in action ourselves? No, we are not that lucky. All right, now that I've told you about one ride closing, let's continue around the park to get to the other ride that is closing. Nikki went to Lost and Found. She lost something she thinks on Hogwarts Express the other day. So she's checking in, see if anyone turned it in. So we will be without her for the next few minutes. Kang is looking a little faded. Could use a new paint job soon. I just realized, right now, the day I'm recording this, I have a live stream starting in like an hour. I have to pick up my pace. Well, Nikki didn't miss much as far as updates in Springfield. But over here, in between Springfield and London, some construction walls around the Coke Freestyle Station that's usually here. Right next to Leicester Square Station, the entrance to Diagon Alley. Sugar Plums is your spot for the new Butterbeer Caramels here in Diagon Alley. Over here near the Hopping Pot, this magical wand spot is now fully operational working as it should, every aspect of it. Hey, Nikki found us, but did you find what you lost? No one turned it in? Not returned. Well, that's a shame. So if you found Ray-Bans on Hogwarts Express, why didn't you turn them in? 30 minutes is a pretty good wait time for Gringotts. Just a friendly reminder, we still have some time left in Mardi Gras. Yes, it lasts a long time here in Orlando but order the secret off-menu drink at Shea Alcatraz, the Marty Jaws. We still are trying to make that the best-selling drink this Mardi Gras season. This is not the other closing I meant to tell you about. That's a little further down the sidewalk here. But don't forget that um, Shea Alcatraz is being remodeled. It's gonna close on what? Um, April 7th. April 7th. Be down for a few days and they'll put up a tent so it should reopen at the tent location April 10th. 
while the actual location is being remodeled. Here's the other main attraction closing here at Universal Orlando, Revenge of the Mummy. Now this is gonna close on June 17th through June 22nd. So hopefully that is not during when you are planning to visit. Okay, I've reported on all the closings. Let's go eat. Oh, I'm hungry, let's do it. All right, still working my way through the Mel's menu. For Nikki, we have for $12.99, Mel's famous burger platter, beef patty with cheddar cheese, pickles, secret sauce, lettuce, and tomato on a gluten-free bun for her. And I am trying for the first time here for $13, the grilled chicken sandwich platter. It's a grilled chicken breast, lettuce, tomato, and avocado ranch on a sesame seed bun. I paid $1.50 extra for onion rings. All done with lunch. Time for Rick's quick food review with Nikki, guest starring. <laughs> uh, you mind if I go first, guest sure. star? Go ahead. So, first time I had that little uh, grilled chicken. I had crispy last time, grilled chicken this time. I had a few bites of the, tr of the chicken on its own. Uh, good seasoning, good flavor. I mean, because you can see it so long, it was longer than the bun. So I had a few bites on its own. I really enjoyed the, I think it was a ranch avocado dressing on it. That made the sandwich for me. I think I prefer it more than the crispy one. Oh. And I had onion rings. The best thing at Mills, the onion rings and the milkshakes. <laughs> now you had a burger I've reviewed before. Yes. But we're really interested in how the gluten-free bun was. Well, I think that's just like the standard gluten-free bun that they use throughout the, the parks here. Yeah. Um, so it was okay. I mean, just make sure you have a glass of water with you. Oh, no. <laughs> but that's a, oh, no. Oops, freak. But no, that's a standard probably gluten-free bun type okay. of issue. So, you know, I mean, no, it, it, it. And gluten-free buns are usually not that uh, exciting. No, I mean, they're a little bit more dry yeah, than a regular yeah. bun. But you've had what, some... Yeah, it's, it's, it's typical. But you've had some good ones before. Yeah, I've had them at Disney. Oh, Disney. Disney's oh. got the best. Who's ever in charge of gluten-free buns, uh, get with the Disney guy, <laughs> your Disney counterpart, and get those buns over here. <laughs> get your buns over here. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I also promised to show you some new merchandise. They have it right here in the Universal Store in CityWalk. Well, it certainly is displayed nicely. Look at that. So this is a whole new set of Universal Orlando Resort themed merchandise. Let's start with this t-shirt right here. Price is, was that $30? Yeah. And look at all the, it's like patches almost, wouldn't you say? Yeah, no two shirts are exactly alike. The garment varies. So you have Hogsmeade, Autobot, Skull Island, Volcano Bay, Bello, E.T. Uh, I see some raptors in there. So it's just, um, it's as if patches are on the t-shirt. And there is a beach towel with the same patchy design. $29 for the beach towel. The same logos and imagery we saw on the t-shirt. 22 for the patchy mug. That's what I'm going with. We're calling this patchy. Nice. And on the inside, also the designs in there. I got to show you something. Really okay. Fast. Sure. Every day is leg day. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. A little mini backpack. Not lounge fly. But as you can see, it's with the patchy design. Okay. Well, both sides have a little netting. Or water bottles. Or whatever you may want to hold. If you have allergies, a good place to hold perhaps, you know, little tissues in that pocket. Uh, and they got it locked, so I can't look at yeah. it. Yeah, well, it's cute. I love the patchiness. Here is patchy crossbody. Got water yeah. bottle holders on either side again. Yeah. And then check this out. Oh, look at the little, like the, a, that goes across your chest. Yeah, for your glasses or your phone. Yeah. Pretty cool. I'm gonna hold it right there for a second. Let me get another shot of it. All the patches. I did not cover every patch, I don't think, but um, fun stuff. I'll let you explore that when you own it. $30 for the bucket hat with the patches. The patch design, I should say. It is reversible, though the inside is pretty much just like a denim look. 
Okay, one more time of the outside. Very nice. If you have the hat, you need the socks. And here are the patchy socks. What did I say, $30 for this, Nikki? Mm -hmm. Or 20, 20. 20. Yep, 20 for the, for the socks. So, make sure you have those on when you're wearing the bucket hat. I think they're three quarter length socks. Okay, three quarter so, length. So, like, yeah, here's the foot, so we go up three quarters. Oh, okay. okay. Or, no, not, maybe not three quarters, maybe a quarter, no? I don't know. This is your area. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys, one size fits all. Let's put it that way. $57 for the hoodie. That's the front, but what we really want to see is the back. And there it is with all the patches we've been looking at. So you got your socks, your hoodie, your bucket hat. What else? We got the t-shirt over there. And for 18 bucks, with all the patch design, you have to be a big fan of the fan. Maybe the hoodie is just too hot for you. You need a tank top. These go for $27 for this sleeveless garment. And here we have for $30 a ladies t-shirt. I love this patch concept. It's really soft too. Oh, it's soft, she says. Okay. Yeah, now I'm wishing I really got that universal jean jacket, the denim jacket that they had like a year or so, a couple years ago. Yeah, I remember that jacket. Honestly, I would get every single one of these patches and stick it on that jacket. So if you have that jacket, come get these patches. Well, our daughter Caitlin has that jacket, so perhaps a gift for Caitlin could be these patches. How much it. are they? They are 13 a piece. Okay. 13 bucks a piece. Click them all. A set of, is it four? I think it's four, yeah. A set of four coasters for $18. $12 for the multi-use, removable, reusable decal sheet of all the little patches. For $12, a drinking glass with the patch design. Uh, some advice, because we have some of these types of glasses from Universal. Hand wash. If you use the dishwasher too much, they'll, they'll peel off. $33 for the blanket. And it's so soft and so bright. The colors are great. And here's a t-shirt that I almost missed. It is $30. A light blue, almost acid washed or tie-dye type effect on it. What's this say? No two shirts are exactly the same way. Okay. Well, I kind of like the blue. I almost forgot to give you the advice that I've never given before. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, what was that? So, when it comes to the ride closings, the temporary ride closings, if you just go to Universal's website, the actual, like on the computer, universalorlando.com, and you go to like the, uh, the park hours, at the bottom of that page, that's where they list the temporary closures. You don't have to wait for me or anyone else to tell you when they are. Before you visit, just check that. And with that being said, oh, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. See you next time. <laughs> His name is Rick. Her name is Nikki. Showing how theme parks are done. Don't miss the magic. Don't miss the fun. Hit subscribe.